Hey guys, this is Mega G Crypto. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin. We're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin in correlation with the S&P 500. When the S&P pumps and when the S&P dumps, are we actually correlated, positively correlated to the S&P? And if we are, what does that mean if the S&P dumps once again? Where does that put Bitcoin towards the downside? If this sounds interesting, let's jump right into the video. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. Also, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, we'll take a look at the charts right now. Before we do, though, I'd like to say that if you guys are interested, you guys want to have a trading group, uh, check out the link in the description below. This will give you access to my Discord, which will give you access to my Patreon. On the Patreon, what I offer is my entire trading style. I have about 21 videos over here. This is a very effective trading style. It took me years to um, get to the level that I'm at right now. And uh, this trading style has given me a pretty high win record of close to 80% and has been journal for my members to follow in the past as well. So it's pretty, it's pretty legit trading style. Uh, a lot of people um, do like the way I convey the message behind my entries and my exits. So if you want to learn how to trade during this recession, check out the link in the description below. And if also, if you guys want me to do analysis on your altcoins, I'll do an analysis on your altcoins. Just write it under altcoins uh, analysis, one each, and I'll make sure to do that. Now, let's take a look at BTC. We'll take a look at BTC and we'll do a correlation between the BTC and the S&P. I have an article out over here, right over here. So we take a look at this and uh, I saw something interesting in this. Uh, in this article, we talk about a few things. We talk about how much money was put into the system as of March of 2021. So over here it says, as of March of 2021, COVID costs total $5.2 trillion. World War II cost $4.7 trillion in today's dollars, which means that the relief for COVID was extremely expensive. In fact, all in all, it was about $13 trillion, 5.2 for COVID, 4.5 for quantitative easing, and 3 for infrastructure. Now... It also says that 5.2 trillion is the total cost of all our wars since 2001. So there's a lot of money into the system. And what the feds are planning to do now is to do quantitative tightening, which is to take money out of the system. So far, it has been $45 billion since June. Starting September 1st, they're increasing it to $100 billion to take the money out of the system. And what does this mean? We can see a correlation between the easing and the tightening. What do I mean by that? When quantitative easing was spoken about in this article over here, let's open up the article once again. When quantitative easing was talked about in this article, as of March 2021, we'll see, we we'll take a look at the charts and see what happened to the S&P 500 from March 2021 onwards. So if we take a look at the chart right over here and open up the S&P, we can see that this is March 30th, March 23rd, so exactly the 21st to the 23rd, we can see that the S&P 500 went from here all the way to the top and it made a 126% movement towards the upside when these trillions of dollars were added into the ecosystem. Now that quantitative tightening is, uh, is announced, this means that there is further downside because they're trying to take the money out of the system. And I'll talk about what this, this means for Bitcoin. When we had this dump over here for the S&P 500, we are absolutely positively correlated to the S&P 500. When we had this dump from the 28th of March, all the way down over here, of approximately June 13th, we had a dump from this high to this low of 21%. So just from these two levels over here, from this to this, there was a 21% dump towards the downside. We take a look at Bitcoin. This was from 21st March to 13th of June. What did Bitcoin do during that same time? So this is, I've already drawn it out over here. This is March and this is June. What did Bitcoin do? Bitcoin made this big move towards the upside and Bitcoin made a further drop of 64%. This is a quite drastic drop. Over here, we had a 20 something plus drop and over here, we had a 60% plus drop. Now, what does this mean if the S&P 500 drops further 
because of September 1st, they're trying to take away $100 billion. This is the most they've attempted to take out of the market in a single calendar month. Does this mean, is it possible for the S&P 500 to come back down over here and possibly test that 200 SMA, which is this blue moving average on the weekly aspect? If we take a look at the past over here, we can see that the 200 SMA does have uh, does have importance. Where we came down, we held the support once over here. We came down to it over here twice. And we came down over here three times. And this S&P 500, the 200 SMA on the weekly aspect, has held us up throughout. So what does that mean right now? If we were to make another move towards the downside, as you can clearly see over here, we are rejecting this area. And this area right now is approximately at, let me find the, uh, the tool. Okay, well, forget it, I can't find the tool. But this price right now is approximately 4,332, where we rejected it. Now, what if we were to go from this area, which is 4,332, all the way down towards this 200 SMA. You know what? Let's take it from our current position. So what if we went from our current position that we are today, 24th of August, which is 4,128, and went and tested that 200 SMA. If you see over here, this is another close to 14% drop. The reason why I'm saying that 200 SMA is important is because we've done it in the past and it's held us up as support. So naturally, like a magnet, it will try to pull us down over there once again. So what if we have another drop of 14%? When we had this drop from this high to this low over here, which is a 21% drop, Bitcoin did the exact same thing, but we did it three folds. So we had a 64% drop. So what if we did another drop of 13%? Let's use the same logic and say from our current position, what if Bitcoin went down 39%, three times? From our current position, if we went from here, we went down 39%, where would that put us? That will put us at approximately thirteen thousand dollars. Now, obviously, it doesn't always it doesn't have to happen like this. I'm just using a rough estimate for my logic over here. But again, it does make sense because if I take a look at this structure, a little bit different over here, and let's draw this out one more time. If I take a look at the structure, a little bit more different over here, which is a trend line from the bottom to the top over here. So if I draw the structure over here and show you that this is a potential rising channel or a bear flag, this means the target of this bear flag from this high to this low over here, the target for this bear flag is towards the downside. And if we break that bear flag, this would mean another move down to approximately $12,000. This would correlate with this move towards the downside for the S&P 500 towards that 200 SMA. Now, for this scenario not to happen, for this big move towards the downside not to occur, what we require the S&P 500 to do is to break above this resistance zone right over here. And this resistance zone is approximately at 4,352. If we can break above 4,352, then in my, and have this pump towards the upside, then in my opinion, Bitcoin will also do the same thing. And we will not make this drastic move towards the downside. Again, it's probable for this move towards the upside to happen. But in my opinion, just because of how we are currently positioned in the, in the macro system, in the macro ecosystem, with more tightening happening September 1st, I do think that the downside is more likely than the upside. But again, if we break above 4,352, then Bitcoin can see a pump towards the upside. And this may not even happen. But if you do, do make another move down towards that 200 SMA, then this would mean that it's more likely for this move down to twelve thousand dollars for btc all right so thank you for watching if you haven't already subscribed to the subscribe button down below also make sure to check out the link in the description if you guys want to join a trading group with a bunch of traders there's about 100 plus traders in the group on the discord group feel free to check out the link in the description thank you and have a good one bye